And now's the time to sort out the shape for the back of the neck. So, in this one, I'm going to stop this, take this neck from being square to being rounded to fit a rounded hand. Got to file off all these edges so it fits like that in your hand. Rounding off. I'm going to use a file for this, which is a right nasty one. Rasp file. That rips wood off like flesh. It's fantastic stuff. That will get the rough shaping done. And then I'll finalize it with sandpaper. Get it smooth to the touch. And what's to say about that really? It's just a matter of doing. I'm not talking about it too much. But there's one thing I'm gonna do before I start that. I'm gonna move my vise back to where it used to be before which is here. Now if you follow my videos you will remember a weekend or so ago I moved my vice from this bench over to a smaller one over by the door. The reason why I did that because my, that was before I moved this bench and my bench was way up here I was squashed against the wall I couldn't use the vice, the vice properly. Now I've got all this space because I moved the bench I'll put a link up for the vice thing and a link up for the, the moving the bench videos up so you can see. It's perfect spot now. And if I have my vice here, I can clamp it in the vice and work away. So that's what I'm going to do right now. That vice is coming right back here, moving it for the third time.
first of all, I think I should apologise because that must have been boring for you to watch. I love doing it. Really good for me. But God, not exactly a spectator sport, was it? Anyhow, I'm going to try and show you the curved on this. This is still not finished, it's still rough. But that fits deliciously into the palm. Like I said before, not finished yet, but you got you got details like this that need blending back in and also certain marks. Now that is the back of the neck, rounded off, ready to be finished. There's another important job to do now and that's the fretboard. Because the fretboard also, the curve needs to continue because you hold like that, you, your hand goes like that. So the edges need to be rounded and the slight radius on the fretboard. Playability is improved a million times when you do that. So it's putting the radius on the fretboard next. I could go ahead and do it now, but I do lack one thing. It's a lot easier if you have a radius sanding block. If you imagine a block of wood, this is not it, but and then a slight radius is cut into it all the way and then you put your sandpaper into that radius and that gives you a fixed radius all the way along as you're working so there'll be no, no wibbly wobbly bits when you're finished I don't have one of those but I'm not going to wait for ages for it to arrive by post as things are not as they normally are at the moment so what I'm going to end up doing next is make my radius sanding block. It's going to be on a 12 inch radius. I don't know why they're called 12 inches. You could just call it 30 centimeters, but they call themselves 12 inch radiuses. That will be next. Bear with me, bear with me. We get in there. <laughs>